new trailer has been released for Terrence Malick's Night of Cups, which stars Christian Bale as a screenwriter who was a slave to the Hollywood system, addicted to the success, but simultaneously despairing the emptiness of his life. The film co-stars Natalie Portman, Kate Blanchett, and Wes Bentley. The newest trailer features a longer look at the movie, with additional music scored by famous DJ Diplo. Christian, do you buy or sell the new look at Malick's Night of Cups? I do buy this. Um, it looks crazy. It looks like a Terrence Malick movie for sure. It's he's either you either love Malick or you can't watch it. And I, I understand both sides. I'm happen to be on uh, the love it side. Uh, but this trailer, I love the music of it. I have no idea really what it's about. It's most Malick movies, but it, it I like the way that it was cut in with the music too. I love the cast. Anytime you have Bale in there, you're going to make me go, well, okay, what's he working on next? Then mm-hmm. you put Malick's name next to it. It's certainly something that you're going to want to see if you're a, a, a film lover in general, a Bale fan, and a Malick fan, obviously. So I'm going to buy this trailer. How about you, Mark? I buy it, and I can't believe I'm saying it because I'm so confused as to what actually is going to happen in this movie. We were telling stories at the pre-production meeting about how this guy made this particular movie and how he does in general. I have my own very unique, it's not creepy, but it's just a weird Terrence Malick interaction that I had when I was first out here in in Hollywood. He recruited me to do something that was like, go work with an actress for the new world, and it was just like a weird total mind F experience that I'll share with you guys at some other date. For this movie in particular, it does Look, the cast alone is going to get me in there. And Terrence Malick, regardless of what you want to say about how he makes his films, the last few, Tree of Life is something I'm still wondering if I liked it or not. And uh, To the Wonder is something that I did not want to like when I was walking in there. I was dreading seeing this movie. I saw it by myself. And I ended up really enjoying it. So against its own odds, I think that Night of Cups could be a movie that really shocks me. Mm. Yep. I really, I, When I saw this trailer, I was like, Jesus Christ, I love Terrence Malick. I love... I love all of the films that he's made because he's not afraid to take risks all the way from back. If you go back to Sissy Spacek and Charlie Sheen in Badlands all the way to right now with Night of Cups, it feels like true experimental filmmaking. And I like the story that you guys were telling me at the pre-production meeting. One of the actors was like, I don't know what was going on. He handed me a thing. It said, I'm I'm a dragon. I wash cups or whatever it was. Thomas Lennon. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, whatever the weird phrase was, like, do you want me to say that? He was like, I don't care. Do whatever you want. It's very experimental. It's free form. And that's, what Ter- that's where Terrence Malick is at now. And I want to hear your story about The New World because that's a film that had a script, but it was a little more free floating. He's always been able to try like, I mean, uh, what's not the uh, the thin red line? I think yeah, that's a yeah. yeah I mean, a, the entire character arcs were cut out. I mean, there's people are like I was there for five months. I had 30 pages of script. I'm not in the movie. I mean, that's the kind of experience you're going to have if you're an actor or you're working in a Terrence Malick on a Terrence Malick production. You could be uh, I was on set for like three months and we shot every scene. I'm not in the movie. You're like, what is going on? He's creating this like 10 hour epic and he just like, here's the two hours that you can have. You're like, what is it? That's the exciting part for me, at least to see a Terrence Malick film. Can I say I was like a thousand times in a tree of life that I absolutely love the film? No, but I liked what he was trying to do with it and I cannot wait to see Night of Cups. Yeah, the experimental stuff. I mean, Thomas London was talking about it and he said he was getting into an argument with his wife on the phone and then he looks over and Malick's got the camera right in his face and he's like, oh, what what do I do? So he started like going farther really hyping up the argument and apparently it's in the film that's so amazing so, uh, like stuff like that is amazing um yeah and i saw a comment in there it's just like wait a minute harlow you're buying this but you're selling fighting dory what's yeah. going on <laughs> i'm just telling you i'm looking and i'm looking at the trailer and to me this is a little different i'm not telling you that you have to go ahead and feel the same way but for me something new respond i responded to it so I apologize. Yeah, kids, to you. you don't have to apologize yeah. for nothing, Harloff. It's called an opinion. That's right. Ah! Well, what if the commenter sound didn't sound like that? What if he was like, hey, Harloff? Right. That's right. How could you Can't sell believe it. Fine and Dory? I think that hey. What if he sounded like that? I think the Dine and Dory was great. How hey. could you possibly sell it? <laughs> and I appreciate it. Look, I, I love Finding Nemo, and I hope Finding Dory is great, but we're not talking about that. Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.